Well, it is becoming a familiar headline lately. Another prominent state lawmaker is stepping down. Naomi Coles talks to Senate Minority Leader Janet Bruley about what's next for Democrats. Naomi. Bruley made her announcement earlier in week. She started her legislative career a bit later in life and is now 70 as she announces she won't run for re-election this mm -hmm. fall. Bewley has been the Senate minority leader for basically the entire oh, pandemic yeah. since April 2020 and she served in the Senate since 2015. I asked her what advice does she have for Democrats if they lose Governor Evers in the executive branch this fall? You just keep going. You know, um, history is written by people who don't give up. The stories of, of, of defeat and then success, you know, the, the, the people at the barricades, the, um, the conditions under which George Washington continued to fight in the American Revolution. She joins other major leaders in both parties who are either leaving the legislature or stepping down from leadership roles. This Sunday on For the Record after Face the Nation, join me for my entire conversation with Bewley and the regrets and triumphs she had along the way. Now, is anything unusual about all the retirement announcements coming out of the Senate, the state legislature right now? You know, I think there's two things. Number one is there's a number of Republicans and Democrats both saying, hey, we're not going to be running again this fall. But the thing is, for Republicans, a lot of them are leaving entirely, while for Democrats, a lot of them are moving on. They're trying to run for things like lieutenant governor or another seat in the Senate. And I think the second thing that's unusual is a lot. I actually counted about four or five of the 11 departures we're counting for this fall. Several of them are from this class of 2010 during this Tea Party wave. A lot of those Republicans that came in, they are now leaving after 12 years and Bewley as well. She was part of that freshman class. That's interesting and what's even more significant too is that party leaders are stepping down. What an impact does that have? Yeah, she's the third major party leader now announcing she's leaving leadership and I think the, the impact here is they're the ones that set the tone for the party, right? Like when we need a response for some new breaking development in politics, we go to the party leaders. They set the tone for what's going to happen. And so when we see party leaders setting down, we should be prepared for a shift going forward. Interesting. We'll see you Sunday on For the Record at 1030. Thank, Thank you, Naomi.